Hello, Rowan Mithril here once again, and before we get too far into this, a quick note. This was brought to my attention, but it occurred after I finished filming the last vid, so I couldn't put it in, but I've hit over 200 subscribers. In fact, at the time of recording this, I have 210, and that's really overwhelming to me. I never expected to have so many viewers, so to each and every one of you, thank you. I really hope my videos continue to entertain. And on that note, let's get back to hunting CDs. So, for disc 21 here in Magic Man's stage, it's in the second room with the bells and the spike blocks, but you might be saying, well, this is the first room. Very true. I'm going to be answering a special request here, as well as showing one of the limitations of the Game Boy Advance version. First, the request. Someone specifically mentioned they liked what Beat did in this game, so let's display that. Beat flies in and gives you a shield. Now the limitation of the Game Boy Advance version. Okay, you could probably just barely see the sparkle right up there. Yes, that's right, the sparkle goes in this room before you can even see it. That wasn't a problem in the Super Nintendo version. But let's wait for these things to get back into a position where we can safely dig. And let's claim our disc. Ah, screen size limitations. Don't you love them? So we start things off this time with Top Man. Apparently I'm not the only one to have made the connection with that particular song. Yes, you spin me right round, baby. Apparently his bad point is he's bad at storytelling. I suppose that's why he has to use more physical means to entertain children. And bad dancers need not apply. Disc 22 is found very early on in the Tengu Man stage in plain sight. It's right after the second balloon. Getting out can be a little tricky, but not that bad. So next up, we have Snake Man. He's a robot created to investigate the narrow areas. The narrow areas. They're well known, they're few, and apparently in this time period, that's all they had. And Snake Man was made to investigate them. His good point is he's a green robot. Whether they just mean the color, or he's good for the environment, that's up to interpretation. I don't seem to recall any foliage in his stage. His bad point is elusive idea, whatever they mean by that. His liking for Toad Man and his disliking for slugs, I believe that references some sort of variant of rock, paper, scissors. Here in the very first room of Dynamo Man stage, we'll find disc number 23. Only Mega Man can get this one. It's in plain sight there, so why can only Mega Man get it? Well, it's a little hard to tell with the screen limitations, but you have to slide to get it. So now it's time to learn a little bit more about Spark Man. He was a robot created to charge electricity, and apparently can generate twice the high voltage of Elect Man. Then, why can't he kill you in as few hits as Elect Man can? That doesn't make much sense, but we'll go with it. Apparently he's friendly, but forgetful. He likes electric eels, and dislikes being alone. Poor guy. Now it's back to the disappearing, reappearing blocks of the Astro Man stage for disc number 24. You may have noticed in my normal playthrough that the second part branches, so let's take the left path this time. There's a hidden ladder up here, and there's the disc in plain sight. That wasn't so bad. Oh, Shadow Man, my favorite. He was created after a Japanese ninja, and his Shadow Blade is apparently coated in a special deadly liquid. He's flexible, but like Quick Man, he's impulsive. He likes to surprise others, but he dislikes obvious tricks. He wants something more challenging. Here in the second conveyor belt room of the Dynamo Man stage, we'll find the path to disc 25. Mega Man never could get up here. Base can. Technically, I know Mega Man can get up there with that lightning jump glitch, or skill, whatever it is, I have to respect anyone can do it. I simply do not have the reflexes to reliably pull that off. So here's some of those fuse blocks we've seen before. Time to finally set some off. Oh, God's not you, not bright man. Alright, let's learn a little bit more about the cheapest robot master ever. 
His flash stopper emits one million watt of power. That should be watts, shouldn't it, translators? He's long on ideas, and he likes inventions. The whole light bulb over the head thing. Apparently he talks too much. And he dislikes unmoral districts. To fit in with the rest of the light puns, I'm guessing they're referring to the infamous red light district. Time to go after Disc 26. Surprise! It's not in one of the main Robot Master stages. It's here in the intro stage. This is one instance where having the CD counter item will not help you. For some reason, Roll will not count the CDs in this stage. Kind of ironic. She has plenty of information about the Robot Master layers, but nothing about the Robot Museum? Anyway, there was the sparkle right under the Sniper Joe, so let's get him out of the way. And now we can dig right where he was. Luckily, the wind doesn't affect where Rush stands. Well, who else would have been hidden in that area? It was Toad Man. He's an agriculture robot, and with his rain flush he can make acid rain occur. And that helps plants how? And yet, they say he's good at natural science. And deaf to music. Alright. Natch, he likes the long jump, because apparently, as we saw from fighting him, that's what he's mainly good at. And his dislike for Snake Men again references that variant of Rock, Paper, Scissors. I believe in that snakes eat toads, toads eat slugs, and slugs dissolve snakes or something. For disc number 27, we head to the third Tiki Trap room in Ground Man's stage. This time, I'm afraid there's no two ways about it. The only way you're getting in and getting that disc and getting back out is buying spike protection from Auto. So now it's time for Drill Man. He's a digger robot for a construction site, and he's been given an award for finding a gold mine. I guess before he started working for Wiley. Or maybe he started working for Cossack again after for, who knows. Apparently he's industrious, but haphazard. He likes rushing through jobs and hates calculations. Yes, drill first, ask questions later. That's a good policy. Alas, the way they have this set up requires two trips, but Disc 28 is a little bit earlier in the Ground Man stage, in the first Tiki Trap room. You might notice that there's a Tiki right down here. It conceals a ladder and apparently an extra life. Now this ladder, there's no going back. That's why this requires two trips. Instead, we have to go down through the quicksand. This chest holds what we're after. Pharaoh man, now I've got your disc. Apparently he's an investigator robot for pyramids, and he has thousands of henchmen. Apparently he's a charismatic leader, and it's bad to be nice to women? Okay. He likes treasure, I can get on board with that, and he hates raiders, as I guess any pharaoh would. Disc number 29 is here in the Astro Man stage, but it's not the one up there. No, we have to deal with a few enemies to get it. There's the mark right there. So, now that everyone's out of the way, all we have to do is dig for it. There we are, then. Ah, the enigma that is Ringman. A robot created simply to terminate Mega Man. His weapon, of course, is shaped like a ring. Why one decided on rings as a method of terminating Mega Man, who knows. He's a good strategist, but overconfident. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this thing that he likes. Deck quite? I'm not right... I I'm not really sure what that even is. But anyway, keep him away from the kids. So here in the Magic Man stage, in this room absolutely packed with trains, we'll find disc number 30, our final stop for this video. I'm fairly certain that Bass's double jump abilities, as well as aiming capabilities, are pretty much essential for this one. Natch, it's easier to just fly up here with the treble boost, but it's possible without it. And finally, let's talk about Dustman. 
He's a cleaner robot, and he hates to have his mouth choked. Well, wouldn't anyone? Don't let me suck more than I can. Supply your own joke. Apparently he has a big appetite, but bad breath. I guess from eating all the garbage. But he does like spring cleaning. Dislikes mice. I guess they're just too messy for him. So with that, that's 30 discs out of the way, and Dr. Light still has not gotten over his depression. Can we get this guy some antidepressants or something? So anyway, tune in next time for discs 31 through 40. Until then, this has been Royal Mithril. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.